patriots mobilizing or Republicans acting like sore losers? That's the question many are asking themselves today as reports continue to come in that show over 600,000 Americans representing every U.S. state have signed petitions requesting that their state secede from the union. Despite the fact that several governors have voiced their disapproval of the idea, the petitions are a definite reminder that the country remains politically divided. Now, what do you imagine when you hear the word secession? I mostly think of the Rick Perry phenomenon of a couple of years ago where he suggested secession. And, uh, and actually, now I, I hear he's, he's, uh, he's kind of he's saying about this, this movement that, it's, uh, that, it's, that although he disagrees with the federal government, that it, it's not viable, even though a couple of years ago he, was, he suggested it himself. Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure what that means. Um. Uh, I mean, it's obviously heavily reminiscent of Civil War era, which is, you know, doesn't really remind you of good things. Um. It's going to be even worse when we move from the United States, because then we're going to be held, held accountable for our own Border Patrol and all that. Okay. And drugs going to get bad. All that gonna, it's going to get bad for society in Texas, period. Going to be a bunch of crime. The White House is expected to comment on this issue in the near future since several signature thresholds have been met. Congressman Ron Paul calls the idea of secession an American ideal. Uh, do you think calls to secede from the union are un-American? Um, I mean, I think that the American way is, you know, essentially to... America was founded on people kind of like, you know, being discontent with a certain type of government and then making their own. So I think that that would essentially be American. Uh, no, they're definitely not un-American. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think that it's necessarily the best thing for, you know, Americans or the Americans in the states that want us to secede, but it's not un-American. I mean, it's, like I said, it's in the Declaration of Independence, so. Well, yeah, because <laughs> they're trying to, they're, they're trying to secede from the states, right? So, I mean, it's not an American it's, no. thing to not want to be an American anymore. Yeah. Just everything about America is all like we're in this together. You know, we've advanced this far together sort of thing. But now it's like if you try and leave, then it's like I think I can make it on my own or whatever. And it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to work out. Is our country run by Congress or by global bankers? I don't know. There's a lot of seen and unseen things covered in the media. So I, I can't really answer that for sure. I would say primarily by uh, it's primarily run by you know global financial interests and uh, you know just capital interests generally speaking like uh, multinational corporations and you know the banking and financial institutions pretty dominantly for sure like a lot of like you know the IMF and things like that um, our country as well as many other countries their policies are dictated by you know IMF and Federal Reserve policy and stuff yeah more than probably the Congress. We can acknowledge that it's not just Congress men's minds at work here, but I think that there's still something to be said for what they're doing. Reporting for InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Ortiz.